Okay, we're on uh what what road is this? This is uh King Street. King and King South. South. We're on King and South in front of uh Bishop Estates here. Uh Are you streaming? Fighting the oh, okay. <laughs> in landlord injustice of Bishop Estates. In landlord injustice. What we have going on is uh, uh, <coughs> landlords that are basically uh, taking over uh, people's homes and just allowing them to be in devastation instead of fixing the problems. It's like uh, what you have out on the state side with, uh, uh, you know, you know how people don't uh, take care of their properties. Uh, what do you what do you call those people? Uh, slum lords. <laughs> so we have a uh, an effect that's similar to that, where they allow the individuals of this home to uh, let their property become flooded, uh, get molded, and uh, create a situation that was very unsanitary, unsafe, and allowed individuals of the family to get highly sick and uh, created some devastation in their lives for not just days but for years and uh, now that these people after all that they went through to fix the property themselves because the landlords wouldn't want to do it they're wanting a victim out of it because they feel that uh, uh, they still owe them money after uh, several hundreds of thousands of dollars placed to fix their property the way it needed to be so and uh, Occupy Honolulu is here to say that uh, we don't allow landlord injustices. And uh, well, here Midori wants to say something. Once again, the Goliath institution is taking over and taking advantage of the whole system that that seeks to and builds off of the working poor and this institutionalized racism has got to end. And so I guess. It's just basically what we're about anyway, you know, just against this whole system, the, the ones that fall into the cracks, and this is literally a crack. We got, we got, we got crack, crack, crack. Thank you. <laughs> so we'll talk to one of the occupants of the house. Uh, see, uh, what she has to say. Would you like anything to say to the people on, uh, you stream here about the situation that's going on? I want everyone who has uh, all the injustices being done to them by Bishop Estate or any corporation or any landlord to speak up. Come out. Together we can do it. We want to end landlord injustice. Uh, we want to make sure that the people's rights are protected. Uh, Bishop Estate, you have all the money in the world to pay the attorneys to fight. Little people like us, our home is paid off, but it's not your money. It's the beneficiary's money. It's my children's money. So use it to fix the flood and not go and pay the attorneys hundreds and thousands of dollars and then evict us from our home that is paid. We know you own the land, but it's not your land. It's Princess Bernice Hawaii's land that she put into this trust because of her aloha and compassion for the children of Hawaii so they can be educated and be at a better social and economic status. We are that family and we represent all those families out there. So use the money wisely and make things fono. It is your kuleana to fix the flooding. It's not your kuleana to go and pay the attorney to manipulate the law so as you can get away with not um, making things hono with our family. So Bishop Estate, all those bones as Ezekiel prophesied when God told him to the valley of bones, hundreds and thousands of them will come out of their grave to speak of the injustice injustices and it will end here and now with my family and you're not above the law all right and the law is made to protect the people so stop peace mealing the problem okay the issue is you devastated us by flooding us four major times 
and we poured all our resources into fixing the flood mitigation, fixing our home. And what do you do? You just sit there and watch us being flooded. So Bishop is saying, stop the injustices and let us keep our home. Or we are the people, by the people, for the people, are the people, so we are going to speak out like there is no tomorrow until you stop the injustices. God bless everyone. Malama the Vegas family, Malama the Aina, Malama the people. Because without the people, there is no community. So who are you going to uh, 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 preach to? Okay, we are the people that make up the family, that make up the community, that make up the country. So it's not your money. It's my children's money. It's the beneficiary's money. It's the children of Hawaii money. Okay? For us, the money comes out of our hard-earned pockets. So you Bishop of State, you people that are being given the responsibility to make sure though that trust is taken care of so that we can malama the families and malama the land because the, the land the life of the land is perpetuated in the righteousness, not in the injustices. Thank you very much and God bless. You worship money, I worship God. When God is on my side, what else matters? Exactly. Aloha. Thank, Thank you. you. What up, son? Well, I don't want to put you on camera. I know how you are, so. But I appreciate it. I appreciate your support. That's great. <laughs> what up? You got something to say? You always got something to say. I will here in a minute. <laughs> in a minute. Okay, that's cool. We'll extend this out. It's not my battery pack. <laughs> I had to borrow battery packs. <laughs> All right, hi there. Hi there, uh, you stream, I think it is. All right, so basically what uh, Kamehameha Schools has done here is set up a... Uh, one way uh, flow of money. They own, they are, uh, Kamehameha Schools is the largest private landowner. The wind. Oh, okay. I'm trying to keep the wind noise up. Gotcha. All right. So the Kamehameha Schools is the largest private landowner here. And um, any, any attorneys or lawyers that try to get involved to help those who are getting, like in uh, the biggest family situation, getting their homes flooded or not having their houses maintained, nothing like that, um, they just, they lease out the land, but then don't pay to maintain it. So what happens is that the people who are living there pay to maintain it, then are evicted, and everything just goes back into um, uh, Kamehameha School's pocket. So that, that's, that's their rotation. That's how they do things. That's, that's their business practice. And so we're here in solidarity with those um, a foreclosed home and suffering from uh, landlord injustices. Thank you. Yeah. So we're going on down through the line here. We have the kids. Any of you want to say anything? You don't have to. And landlord and justice. Save our home. Yeah. That's it. What does this mean for you? I mean, what what what, what have you had to deal with because of the injustices that uh, Bishop of the State has caused? A lot of heartbreak, no real summer, just working, petitioning, trying to go back to college and come home with the same home and not have to move and or be homeless. Just what? Want to stop this. Right, I've seen some powerful statements that was made by both of you that was on the Ololo program. You know, I want to bring people attention to that so they have something else to go back for resource. And, uh, I mean, what do you think uh, has come from that? Or what, what were you speaking about in there that you would like to reiterate that would make uh, pertinent information for other people to know so they have something to caption to, to maybe want to go back and look into that? That right is right and wrong is wrong. And you can always do the right thing even if you're the richest institution in the nation, you know, Kamehameha School is Bishop of State, you still have to know how to malama the aina and the people that live on it. Um, use your money wisely, not to evict people, but to be good stewards of the land. Cool. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Do yep. you have anything to say? Um, yeah, I know you had some situations <laughs> that was going on because of the crisis that, yeah. was, that, that happened there. There's uh, some crazy stuff. Uh, me and my mom and our family, we've just had some problems with the mold in the house, too. It's just been crazy. We've had to go to the doctor and check our allergies and everything just to, just to be on the safe side. 
and it's been a real struggle before we didn't have uh, inhalers just because it was hard to breathe and you know yeah, allergies and asthma is not an easy thing to deal with yeah, I, I have my I have my problems too with that uh, pretty crazy but you know pono is pono just make it right nothing nothing hard about it right good deal all right thank you okay.